Okay, my sumo peeps, I said I wasn't going to do this, but I have a hurt back and I'm pretty much stuck at home, so I'm bored and I thought I did because somebody asked. Um, actually, the other gems that I was sharing, I was doing them with a Photoshop brush, but I figured out a way to make at least a front facing diamond here on sumo, so I thought I'd share that with you so you can make your own. So, okay, first step start with a blank document, add a second layer. Within that second layer, we are going to make a circle with our selection tool. Hold down the shift key and Start in the upper corner there and just make as perfect a circle as you can. Generally, if you use the shift key, it keeps it perfect, but for some reason, mine is not right now. Which means Sumo's gonna screw up on me, but you know, what the heck. So anyway, once we've done that, filters, noise, let's choose monochrome, and let's fill our thing with noise here. Okay, which okay. Adjustments, levels, let's bring up our blacks, and bring up our whites, so we get a little bit more contrast there. And push OK. Now, big trick. Filter, pixelate, crystallize. We have our cell size a little bit here. And maybe not quite so much. And you can see we've got sort of a diamond look going on there. So, say OK. Select, deselect. Create new layer. And choose the paintbrush. Opacity all the way up. Flow all the way up. Diameter all the way up. And we will select brushes number one hexagon tool this is and we're going to try and hit the center except we should make that black let's go back switch to black okay and let's bring that free transform it and make it as big as we can within that circle okay now another layer this layer we want to create a gradient we're going to go to green special effects and we're going to choose this gray stripes one now, we're going to select our third one in, and we're just going to make kind of a thing like that go straight across. Now, filters, 3D, cylinder. Let's choose polar coordinates, and aha, you can already see the center of the diamond forming. Okay, push OK. Let's make sure we're completely covering our hexagon with that. And let's turn down the opacity. So we can see our hexagon. And now let's choose our selection tool, our lasso tool. Choose the second model. And again, we just make points at each corner. Following the shape of the hexagon. And we have our selection. Now let's select inverse, edit, Cut. What did that do? That made it so we have the hexagon shape in that particular pattern. So let's remove, actually let's select, deselect first, and let's remove our black hexagon. Okay. And already you can see we have kind of that look of a diamond. Adjustments, hue and saturation. Let's, oh, that's what's wrong. We've got opacity 39%. Let's uh, bring opacity back up and let's lower that layer beneath the other layer and we're going to do this as a actually I have to kind of play here like meh and I think that looks okay let's change our background to bat black so we can get a little bit better feel for it okay let's do normal and let's merge that down Let's unmerge that down and let's turn down our opacity a little bit on the top part just so the bottom shines through a little bit more. And as you can see, it kind of looks like a gem. So, merge that down and adjustments, brightness and contrast. Let's turn the brightness a bit, contrast down a bit, and adjustments, hue and saturation. Let's lighten it up a bit. Adjustments, curves, and yeah, sometimes it looks good, sometimes it does. I just keep playing with it till it looks pretty much like a gem to me. And this is a gem that I used inside the text where, so big like this is a little bit not that great looking, but when you shrink it, it's going to look like a good gem. So let's say that's okay. Okay, let's free transform it, bring it down a little bit. 
And I don't know about you, but that kind of looks like a gym to me. So I mean, we can enhance it a little bit by changing our background somewhat. Let's uh, do that, that. Oops, wrong one. But this looks pretty good. And I'm going to go ahead and leave this for now because I don't want this to be a real long video. But uh, uh, we'll merge these down. Adjustments. And saturation. Let's see. Get a little lighter. Adjustments. Drop shadow layer. There you have it, three simple little diamonds, and uh, I'm not going to get any more into it because um, I think you've got enough to work with. So here you go, you can make your own gems, obviously, and I'll, here, I'll do a little bit of something here, I'll show you. Change the color and make different gems. Colorize, see if we wanted to make aquamarines, or, oh, I don't know, some sort of golden ones. You can lower the, kind of make them a little darker. three blue diamonds. So anyway, uh, hope this helps, and uh, if it does, make some stuff for me. We'll talk to you later. Bye.